Hello everyone, welcome to another learning episode. Today, I'll be talking about literature review. Last time, I talked about writing literature review using the four approaches. Just a quick review of the four approaches that we discussed. We talked about chronological approach, methodological approach, thematic approach, and theoretical approach. If you want to know more about this discussion, I'm going to be linking the video somewhere here. So these were the four approaches that I told you guys. And today, we will be focusing more on the thematic approach. We will discuss the four steps steps in writing our literature review using the thematic approach. Now to start with, the first thing that we're going to do is to identify key themes in our research study. So how are we going to identify our key themes? First is we need to go back to our research title and our statement of the problem or our research objectives. If we want to identify the important themes in our research study, we need to read our research title, our statement of the problem, or our research objective for us to find the important words or keywords that need further understanding in this research paper. For instance, this will be our research title, Money Management Practices and Investment Risk Appetite of Gen Z Private Employees. Based on the research title, we can already identify the keywords that must be included in our list of key themes. So first, we have to ask what are the variables in this research study? The two variables that we have are the money management practices and the investment risk appetite. Aside from these two variables, by the way, what do we mean by variables? When we talk about variables, these are the phenomena that we are going to measure in our research study. So we have we have two phenomena here. The first one is the money management scale and the other one is the investment risk appetite. So these two phenomena are the ones that we are going to measure. The other one is the Gen Z private employees. Now, if you're done listing your key themes based on your research title, you then have to proceed to your statement of the problem. There might be other terms or themes that we have to include. Now, this will be our research problem. What is the extent of money management practices of the Gen Z private employees when classified according to we have budgeting, spending, saving, and investing? So budgeting, spending, saving, and investing. These four mentioned in your statement of the problem, the four classifications of the money management practices, these will be included as well in our list of key themes. After you list all your key themes is to gather and organize literature into thematic categories. Now you have to cast a wide net in searching for published researches related to your research topic. You have to read hundreds or even thousands of articles, journals, and published researches. You have to search through and through in order to saturate the data. In doing that, sometimes it can be tiring, but the good news is I'm gonna be introducing our AI-powered tool if you have been using SciSpace, they are launching their new tool, which is the SciSpace Agent. This tool will help us generate relevant papers and to help you navigate and explore SciSpace Agent more, I'm going to be sharing it with you guys. Let's just search SciSpace on our search engine. And then once it appears, you just have to click on that. So this is what SciSpace uh, platform looks like. If you have been using SciSpace for a while now, as you notice, they have a new feature, this one over here. So we have to click on this and try it. This is the new tool I'm going to be introducing to you guys. We will navigate this new launch tool. All we have to do is just click on the tab and then we can write our keyword or our prompt. Since we already have listed our, we already have identified our key themes a while ago. So I'm going to write it here. I'm going to ask the size space agent to give me a bunch of literature related to the theme I'll be asking. So I'll start with the money management practices, all, all the researches related to it. So what I did, I asked the agent to provide me researches about money management practices of Gen Z employees. So I just have to click here, the yellow one with an arrow, or the orange one rather. So it executes the plan. What I like about SciSpace agent is it's somehow using AI in a much responsible way. It's not doing the job 100% for you. Parang it just helps. It just helps you making your life as a researcher way easier. So as you notice, it 
accepts my prompt and right now it's already running it tries to search on the data that I'm asking aside from giving you relevant research papers it also filters and sorts papers based on the publication year so if your prompt is more specific than mine for instance you could have written provide um, re researches about money management skills of Gen Z employees, the publication year should be from 2000 down to 2005. If your prompt is that specific, it will give you exactly what you want. So it will give you, it will filter and sort papers based on the year that you want. With Size Space Agent, what I like about it is it shows its live activity. So while searching, you notice that it keeps on adding additional paper related to your prompt to the money management practices of Gen Z employees. So if you want to look into the files, you just click here, files, and there it generates a lot of files for you. You notice these are the files generated by this AI powered tool. Notice these are the, it shows you the result there, and then it also gives you the URL. And when you click on that, it will direct you to its official site. There you have it. And if you want to, you can also ask this iSpace agent to give you the insight, the conclusion, the summary with its add column feature. So we'll click on this. So these are the generated literature, the generated sources based on the prompt that you give it. There. Instead of reading the whole entire paper, the size space agent will give you this one, the focused areas, the summary, the conclusion, the insights of your paper. Click on the other generated paper, it also provides its summary, its conclusion. So it's easy for us researchers to digest the concept and the findings of every paper that we look into. So that's how good and amazing the SciSpace agent is. It helps you in gathering relevant papers for your literature review. And aside from that, it also helps you analyze the papers. You will no longer read the entire thing, but it gives you the insights, the conclusion, the summary of the paper. So it makes life easier for you. Now, after generating this literature, the next thing that you're going to do is to organize literature into thematic categories. And once you organize them, you may now proceed to the next step, which is highlight areas of agreement and disagreement among authors. Now you have to look into the similarities of their findings, highlight them. You can just use the tool in your Microsoft Word or you can do a traditional way wherein you print your draft of literature review and then you're going to use highlighter in pointing out the similarities of the concepts and the findings of the authors. Once you're done highlighting the similarities, it's also important to look into the contradictions or the disagreements among the authors. What are the different findings? What's the contradiction? Look into the differences as well. How is the author one? How is the finding of the author one different from the finding of author two? Now, you also have to highlight that one so it will be easier to discuss later on. And once you're done with the third step, the fourth one is you're going to identify the implication of the literature gathered. What is the gap? Okay. Is there something lacking? Is there something that you want to look into more based on the literature that you gather? Now you can now write your literature review using the thematic approach. For all the students out there, I know this tool is going to be helpful, especially for those who are currently working on their research papers. I can say that it helps me a lot as well since I'm currently working on my dissertation. So I hope you avail this one. Try it out for yourself. So before I end this video, I would like to announce the good news. SciSpace is actually giving us a 40% off for our additional credits. If you want to avail this 40% off, it's just a limited time offer. So if you want to avail this, just click on the link that I'll be putting in the description. And you just have to key in our discount code, which is MAFECSA40. So if SciSpace is something that you think will be very helpful for you, just try it out. And I encourage you to give it a try. And I hope this video about four steps in writing literature review using thematic approach helps you and you gain a, 
and you gain a thing or two from this discussion. So see you in our next episode. Keep on learning. Bye!